So Donald Trump had posted this short clip on Truth Social, as you can see, thanking Andrew Tate for he had, you know, basically said how criminal the justice system is. And they're 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 basically going after Trump for the same reason, in my opinion, they went after Andrew Tate. OK, it, it's this Marxist ideology that's rooted in the feminist movement and it, it, it wants to destroy masculinity. Now, you can love or hate Andrew Tate. I, but everything I've listened, and I haven't listened to all of his podcasts. I didn't really know about him until the last several, several months. Um, I guess probably when he got arrested or, you know, I heard about it. But um, the same women that accuse him, I don't even know if it's women. He's been accused of what's, let's see, um, the list of things they went after. Men's rights activist and influencer Tate was arrested on December 29th. In Romania, he's accused of human trafficking and rape. It was, do they have proof? The media personality is known for his controversial remarks against women online. I have not seen his controversial remarks. Now, I think that the feminist movement women would take his remarks as insulting, but then I think they insult women, the feminist movement themselves. I. I, I, I think it's trashy to put pink pussy hats on, just saying. It's just, I'm not saying all those women that did it were trashy. I'm just saying I don't think that's a movement that really... Um, I think he's more respectful of women than the feminist movement, put it that way. And I think what he's saying is honest. It's just no men really want to say it because the, the feminist movement, along with... The Marxist ideology movement, uh, you know, of the transgender, the, this transgender ideology and cult wave that's moving through everything, and and the race, uh, it's all designed as we, as most people I think know by now. But he represents mas he represents masculinity. The feminist movement is all about toxic toxic masculinity. Yet you don't you don't want to do this to men. You don't. You don't, I'm not talking about, I don't see a man that beats up women as masculine. I don't see a, a man as who rapes women as masculine. I see a man that actually speaks honestly, though, as masculine. And, and actually is not afraid to be masculine. We don't, there's just not enough of that going on anymore. I'm just saying, it's more personally. Um, and it's because of these, these, um, these ideology groups that have been trying to destroy um, masculinity by saying it's toxic not healthy masculinity no that's not toxic so they went on to say his following includes 45 million Twitter Twitter followers some kids said he was the most influential person in 2022 he's really he's sm I mean he's really smart I, I mean he's you he's smart I mean as far as philosophically the way his mind, I mean, I, I agree with most everything he says. I does, I do, I does. I do because he gives a rationale for it, it, it that makes sense. But um, I think they went after him because um, of, uh, they want to destroy masculinity because in order for the Marxist revolution um, to be successful, they have to destroy masculinity. That's why it operates over many decades and slowly starts to, I mean, you see, you see this with um, the ideology, you know, for years now, uh, wanting to destroy uh, masculinity in men, okay? And now you have men turning to women and now th those men are uh, disrespecting women. It's all designed to de de destroy everything, destroy the family, destroy women, destroy men. Because the Marxist agenda, which is really just an evil agenda of DEI, diversity, inclusion, equity, that's all part of it. That, that's all his design. And it's, they don't want people like him. That's why they go after Trump, too. They don't want honest men that really speak the truth. So one of the, the, the headlines, if you just read a headline, you'd think, oh, he's just a jerk off, this guy. But you have to read the article to realize, no, the headline is trying to sway people without you reading the article. So it says here, Big Brother Reject, Andrew Tate claims women should take respons 
take personal responsibility for rape in vile Harvey Weinstein rant. The controversial kickboxer believes assault victims should have avoided poor decisions to stay safe. Now, your feminist movement, they would have a big, oh, how dare he, how dare he, we, we need to have our victim class. Well, no, if you go on to read the article, though, he's, he's right. He's right. He says, if you put yourself in a position to be raped, you must bear some responsibility. And basically, um, he tweeted as though he had woken up in 1950s, it says. But he says, I'm not saying it's okay you got raped. No, women, no woman should be abused regardless. However, with sexual assault, they put zero blame on the victim whatsoever. His point is that many people, and, and he's, it's not that he's supporting Harvey Weinstein, it's not. It's that um, many of these people traded being sexually assaulted for opportunity, yes, so they need to take responsibility for his, their behavior in that. He's absolutely right. He's not defending um, people being raped. He's saying that you can't make it that that's a, a solely a victim. If they allowed themselves to be raped, also they could get opportunity in Hollywood or whatever. So, I, no, I agree with that. It's I mean, one of the biggest problems we have right now, besides courts deciding how much a uh, people's property is worth as if they have any right, any judge has a right to do that shit. Um, and besides the fact that we don't have a justice system that seems to understand the constitution at all, but it seems to work more for the, um, the, the, the Marxist ideology, um, is that we don't have people that are willing to take responsibility for their own behavior. It's instead, yes, I, I, got, I got fame, I got fortune from Harvey Weinstein, but I was raped but I don't want to take any responsibility of me knowing, like, I mean, he, he's been doing, Harvey Weinstein was doing that for years, and women would subject themselves to it many times, I'm not saying all, but many, and they went on to be Hollywood stars. So, that, yeah, he, Andrew Tate's exactly right. I, I know there's people out there that say what a jerk off he is, he trafficked. I still have not, where's the evidence of this? Because this is typical that the, the people on the left and people on the right fall for this shit is that they're going to go after a man like this. I've not, I've not yet, and I've, again, I haven't listened to all of his podcasts, but I've, I've listened to enough because I, I think he's interesting to listen to. Um, he said, sexual harassment is disgusting and inexcusable. However, a man looking at you or whistling at you or asking your name isn't harassment. He's right. It's not. I mean, nowadays, you know, it's like this Marxist ideology it just wants you to to, 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 you know, you can't even flirt with someone or men can't even flirt with a woman. And then what, what ends up happening is because they've destroyed the healthy masculinity, then what people see as toxic, which is a toxic masculinity, is the men that do rape, is, is the people that, um, that, that aren't honest, that don't have respect for women. I, I don't know how he doesn't have respect for women, not based on everything he says. I, th I think they went after him because he speaks up. Um, and then in this video that Trump posted, he said that um, I will, if, if Trump's not reelected, I will never step foot in America again. And because it's, I, I mean, it's obvious. People can continue to bury their head in the sand over this, okay? But he's right, all right? I mean, it, Trump has not done anything wrong. And yet we have a justice system that has taken it upon themselves to decide what his uh, property is worth and, and want to, um, you know, try him with no jury and everything they're doing everything all these da they're doing is is they're illegal they are the criminals these judges are criminals so um people may not like that you you may not like donald trump but what they are doing to him is absolutely um inexcusable inexcusable so i think there's more people that are on the far left that want to go after men like him who are honest, who speak the truth, and they hate these men, most, especi most especially your feminist group. Your feminists don't even protect women. They protect male women. That's how much they've wanted to reduce men over the years. I've never, I can't never, I, I've hated the feminist movement because it disgraces women while it's going to raise up the men that have now decided to become women. No, this is crazy, going down into crazy land, and they go after honest, healthy, masculine men.